Hello, my name is uh, Partha Chaudhary. I am the Director of Nuclear Medicine at Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Center. I am going to talk to you about today uh, my recent editorial review which has been accepted for publication in current radio pharmaceuticals and uh, the editorial review is uh, entitled Personalized and Precision Medicine in Cancer a Theranostic Approach. We all know that there are many challenges in the execution of targeted therapy in cancer, mostly due to tumor heterogeneity between individuals, both intra and inter individual. In case of solid tumors, this is one of the reasons as to why genomic analysis from single tumor biopsy specimens underestimate the mutational burdens of these tumors and it contributes further to treatment failure and drug resistance. Now molecular characteristics redefine tumor classification for molecular targeted therapies ensuring the best patient specific therapies with better specificity and cost effective ratio. Functional imaging like positron emission tomography has been extensively used in oncology with FDG that is fluorodeoxyglucose labeled with 18 fluoride. This radiopharmaceutical assesses the glucose metabolism in tumor cells and it has been there for quite some time now. And this has been further redefined to use other radiopharmaceutical targets which are capable of tumor characterization, microenvironment, angiogenesis, tumor proliferation, apoptosis, receptor expression among few others. Among these, the receptor expression in tumors have been studied in detail and specific imaging probes have been developed for imaging with either conventional SPECT CT or the PET CT. In our institution, we have used in vivo imaging of receptor expression with PET CT and we have found that combining a diagnostic tool with the same vector is an easy switch from diagnosis to therapy using therapy nucleide where such expression has been documented. So therefore, in nuclear medicine, the concept of theranostics have been utilized with ease and successfully implemented, becoming a valid example of personalized and precision medicine. Imaging of and therapy of thyroid cancer, neuroendocrine tumors, and castration-resistant prostate cancer are current examples of this concept. So therefore, molecular imaging has a high potential to link target identification with the therapy and thus to personalize it. It also has a very high potential for in vivo tissue characterization to improve prediction, prognostication, roadmap for biopsy and monitoring of therapy. Thank you.